When they tried to see her as she was being taken from one side to the next, they found that screens had been erected inside the Apollo second floor. This is where Jayalalitha has been for the past 70 days, and they couldn't actually see what was going on. This, they also said to us, was the first time that something like this happened. At 11 a.m. on Monday, they were asked to gather in the basement of Apollo for a meeting of the MLAs and the ministers. At this meeting, they were made to sign three blank pages. Now, each of these pages were an A4 sheet of paper, and it had just their names and then a blank space next to it to sign, and they all signed these sheets of paper. No explanation was given to them what these sheets of paper were about or what was the purpose of the meeting. It just simply was a set of instructions given, and they followed it. No senior party officials uh, were present to preside over it uh, as well. Subsequently, uh, they were asked to remain inside the hospital. At 2 p.m., several of these ministers and MLAs went back to the second floor, and then they noticed that a very large number of Shashikala's relatives, as well as those who they associated with her, were milling around, and some of them informally began to, in, to tell these ministers and MLAs that Jayalalitha was no more. And this led to a lot of emotion, a lot of sobbing, there was confusion. They were then told to go to the party headquarters for the meeting at 6 p.m. This was actually the formally intimated meeting. Remember that many of uh, the details we're now sharing with you were not formally confirmed to us. We'd heard that there was an informal meeting of the MLAs in the hospital, but the party denied it. The formal meeting, they told us, was at 6 p.m. at party headquarters. Now, when they actually uh, arrived at the meeting, they found that except for the big five of the ministers, everyone else was there. So there was, of course, Mr. Panish Selvam. He was present at the, uh, he was not present at the meeting along with three, four other key ADMK ministers, but all the others were there. There was no explanation again as to why he wasn't there and uh, what was taking so long. Finally, it was only uh, at about 11.15 p.m., five hours later, when this big five arrived. So for about five to six hours, there was uh, nobody present there and no other uh, ministers and MLAs allowed to leave. There's the suspicion now that it is during this time that important negotiations were taking place between the AIDMK's top leadership and the Shashikala family inside the hospital about what would be the next step in this transition of power. This is the suspicion that at least two uh, gentlemen from within the party, one of them, as I said, is a minister, shared with us. Now, at this point when the ministers entered, uh, the AIDNK party chairman, Madhu Sudhanan, who was all present during the entire time, he was uh, inside, he was waiting with all of them, he was simply handed a one-line statement which he read out, which simply said that Mr. O. Paneer Selvam has been appointed AIDMK party leader in the assembly. At midnight, the ministers were then asked to leave their car. They said by then this was around midnight. The ministers were asked to leave their car at the uh, uh, party headquarters and buses were organized to transport them and the MLAs to Raj Bhavan. And the rest is something that we all know what happened, that they arrived there, they were stunned to find that there were all the arrangements in place for a swearing in. The chief secretary was there, the officials from the chief minister's office were there, and then this swearing in took place. And then at 12.40 p.m., the hospital finally issued a release saying Jayalalitha had passed away. Now remember, informally they had been told at 2 p.m. that this had happened, but finally it was only at 12.40 p.m. that the official release was released, which put the time of death at 11.30 p.m. So there was almost a gap of nine hours which remains unexplained. Why did it take so long to formalize it? Again,